channel so today we're gonna to be doing a get ready with me but a little bit different I'm gonna be doing my hair and my makeup and I'm gonna be trying new makeup products today and giving you guys a full glam because I've been giving you guys super natural looks which has definitely been my vibe but I know the girls still want to see full glam and I actually like it um I would the, the whole time you guys this video was very chaotic but I really like how everything came out it's a super soft and pretty but still glam and in your face so if you want to see how I got this look make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel liking this video and keep watching hey guys so we're gonna jump straight into this video I hope the sun in the back isn't distracting me. I feel like I'm still the main attraction here but um yeah all this noise in the back. So listen, today we are giving va va voom. We are giving fabulous. We're gonna be giving full glam. I have been giving you guys natural, 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 and you know that's really my vibe. But I feel like for video purposes, let's bring it up a notch. So I'm feeling very um, curled, drama, hair, girly feminine eyeshadow full coverage foundation so we're gonna go from this to whatever it ends up being okay so yeah today i have this wig ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm already today i have this wig from um west kiss hair and it is you know just your standard body wave unit i believe this is a 13 by 6 which makes me happy um but i just want to do like some curls i washed it a few days ago and it's been sitting like i just have not been feeling like doing my hair and makeup and i've been kind of busy but i think today is the day today is the day to f them up so I just went ahead and closed the blinds to avoid any further problems. Let us pray, let us pray, let us pray because you know we're transitioning into fall now. Um so the sun is setting sooner than it normally does. Like it's not even it's only three o'clock. Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of tea on this wig while I am prepping for this install. So you guys know I like to cut off the little lace flap in the back and I like to adjust the um these little straps in the back I put them as tight as possible so that I can avoid using the comb because my hair it's just too much on my hair now so I just avoid using the comb if possible um, but anyway so this is like my perfect in my opinion this would be the perfect go-to wig and I know I say that about everything but like what is considered my go-to which maybe highlights and color is not gonna work for everybody so for me personally I think this is perfect because this is 180% density, which is the perfect density. 150 works, but could be a little thin. It's like missing a bundle, you know? 180 is like adding a bundle to 150, you know? Then if you do 200 or 220, it's too thick. It's giving fabulous, but it's too thick and too hot. So 180 is literally perfect. Trust me, guys. And this is a 24 inch wig. Which you guys know, I always tell you guys, 24 is like my favorite length. It's like not too, too long, but it's long enough and it's not too short. And it also gives me room to like cut it up and layer it if that's what I choose to do. And also this is a 13 by 6 frontal, which you guys know I rave about. I feel like the lace shortage is now over, so they're giving us back full parting space, all that. And with a 13 by 6 your wig just lays a lot better in my opinion. Sorry, I had to plug in my hot comb. But in my opinion, with a 13 by 6, your wig just lays a lot better, a lot flatter. So I love that. And this lace is giving um, HD. You see, you can't see it. This is going to be a good install, baby. You guys have seen me install my wigs time and time again. So I'm going to quickly do that and then um, possibly come back for styling if I'm not in my zone. You guys know how I get, but just kind of like adjust the wig to where you want it. I try to do it like right on my hairline. I know that's wrong, but y'all see I still got edges on me. I don't know. But um, some people do it before their hairline. But if I do it before my hairline because I have a widow's peak, it will literally be right here. And that is just too low for me. It's not the worst, but in my opinion, it is too low. So I just 
push it back a little bit and put it like right on top so that's that's why sometimes you guys can see that but I just just watch me work okay Alright, so I'm liking where this is going so far, but honestly, I feel like I need to pluck a little bit more now that it's on my head. Every time I pluck when it's on my head, you guys, the install eats. So I'm super excited to be doing this. It's like just a little bit too bulky around the hairline for me. It's, it's wearable, but yeah, and this lace, you guys, amazing. I like plucking in between as well because it's a little dense right here which again isn't a bad thing but um, it just helps it lay flatter when you get rid of some of that bulkiness okay maybe I'm just being very hard on myself right now because I have not done my hair in a few days um, but it's giving WIG and I don't want it to give that. I want it to be giving soft and delicate. <laughs> so I'm about to um, take out some like fake edges, I guess. Okay, so this is what the hair is giving. Excuse the moo moo, but I've realized I like doing my hair better in something loose. When I wear my robe and stuff, I feel so constricted. It gets hot. This is my happy space, okay? So yeah, the hair is very long for it to be 24 inch. It's giving long, which is gonna give me room to layer my hair, which is what I wanna do today. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start chopping her up. So I'm just gonna be curling my hair like usual, but you know, I've started to use more products on my hair. So I'm gonna be using a serum. This is the, um, What brand is this? You guys remember this. I used to use this all the time. Um, it says Plant Active Blend, but I don't remember that being the name. But whatever, so I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna do a few pumps, and just run it through the hair on both sides. I really like serum, because it just keeps a nice natural luster in the hair, and keeps it looking nice and bouncy. You guys, the quality of this hair is always top notch. I love West Kiss. It always curls the way I need it to, straighten the way I need it to, colors the way I need it to. I love, love, love West Kiss hair. I really should have colored this because I can tell this is like, this is great quality hair that would have colored amazingly. But I didn't think about that. But I've also been wearing a lot of color and highlights. So I was like, you know, let's just go back to the basics. But I should. that's probably why I feel weird about my hair now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I haven't worn like black hair in, in a minute. And honestly, it may look like it, but in the real world, in reality, I have not. But anyways, um, so yeah, I just like to add serum and like smooth my hair out by brushing it through. And then I just kind of start to map out my layers. Um, again, if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend layering your hair after you curl it so you can see where the curls are gonna fall. Oh, when I tell you like the quality of this hair is so good, like, I can't explain it, it just feels, feels away. Um, so basically I kind of did like a rough draft cut and I kind of layered it a little bit, trimmed the ends so they're nice and full all the way through. Um, and then I'm just gonna start curling. So what I've been using lately, game changers. So I've been using this Mystic Divine Thermal Finishing Spray and I've been spraying it on my hair before I curl it and then I finish it off with a hairspray and I've been loving my L'Oreal hairspray um, but the thermal spray just gives it like this like bounce this shine it helps my hair last throughout the day like I have just been where's my clips I have just been obsessed so curled and 
and you guys i'm telling you the quality let me fix my moo moo the quality of this hair is so good i'm literally just like ugh, gagging i wish i would have dyed this like do you see how bouncy this, like it, the the video is not even giving it justice to what i'm seeing in person like this is ugh, amazing so I'm just going to comb through it with my um, wide tooth comb. And you guys see it's super juicy. Just the way I like. Mm -hmm. Super, super juicy. Oh my God, the hair is just... Do you see how it's just like... Oh my gosh. What I'm going to do while my hot comb is heating up is do something to these edges. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it looks good. Like it really doesn't need edges because like it looks so good without it. So I'm just gonna do a little makeshift something, child. All right, guys. So my hair is like just pushed back. I don't want to wear a scarf or an elastic band because I don't want that line. But maybe I should. Uh, what do I do? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my face. I'm definitely gonna be doing something a little bit dramatic today, so I'm really excited and I'm gonna be using a few new products. I've gotten a lot of stuff in the mail, and on top of that, I have been buying a lot of things mostly skin and body care but we, you know i always gotta buy a little makeup too y'all know the vibes so um i'm gonna start with my brows for this look because i'm definitely doing my eyes first because i'm gonna be using new eyeshadows and i'm gonna be doing something more dramatic so i'm using my morphe brow pencil which is definitely staying the same okay i don't play that i just oh <gasps> i do have new brow products no so I do have new brow products. I have, well, they're not really new. They're just new to my routine. So I got the um, Benefit Brow Setter. And this is a clear one. And it's a mini one because they did not have the full size one at my Ulta. But I'm just going to brush my brows up because I do want to try something different today. So I'm going to brush them up. And like, you guys know BS this is one of the best brow gels like it actually keeps your brows up i think it has a lot to do with the comb um but it actually keeps the brows up and gives that kind of laminated look so you don't necessarily have to laminate the brows but so i also picked up this milani um microblading pen in the shade espresso so yeah, I saw this girl on Instagram. Um, it was a reel, it was like on my explore page. Don't know who she is, I'm sorry. But I remember what she did. She said she used a brow set, brushes through her brows, and then she uses the Milani microblading pen. Um, and she just kind of goes through her brows. I got the shade Espresso because I know that would match my brow hairs a lot better. So I'm gonna like lightly fill my brows in with this. Mind you, I've never used this before, so bear with me. But this is super thin and I'm obsessed already like, wow. So I'm going to lightly fill that in. And I'm going to try to speed it up because I feel like this tutorial is just long and dragged out. I just want to try new products and have fun. I haven't had fun with my makeup in a while. I mean, I really have. But for you guys, I feel like you guys are getting bored maybe with my like same old, same old look. So... So I'm gonna take my Morphe brow pencil now and I'm gonna do like a line underneath just so that it's more defined. So it's like a hybrid brow. It's like fluffy but defined. A little bit of both, you feel me? So, so far I'm feeling the hybrid brow. I'm about to clean it up with some concealer. Don't worry about the concealer. We'll be talking about concealer later on in the video. I'm gonna just clean this up. So the brows are done and I really like them you guys like they look so good like you can still see the hairs like I like when my brows look like this when they're like sculpted but you can still see the hairs so this gets a 10 out of 10 for me so we're starting off good um, and you guys know I never do my brows on camera so this was a moment so anyways I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyes so that Oh my god, I have so many products that I can use for you guys today. 
Well, that's crazy. I need to get it together. I need to stand up straight. I need to get it together. So if you guys watched my most recent vlog, hopefully that's up before this, but you guys saw that I did a lot of like unboxings and I did a lot of, um, you know, makeup shopping and this and that and that. But one of the first brands that sent me something recently in these last few weeks was Revenge Beauty. And they actually sent me over eyeshadow palettes, which definitely inspired me to do this look. Um, it inspired me to do like a full glam because I've just been so into like my skincare, my body care, like just like being a girly girl, you know, but I've been like very minimal on the makeup. So, um, she sent over two, pa two palettes and I think I want to use the pink one because y'all know I love pink, but there's also a blue one and I don't, I'm not feeling blue today. I'm not, but the blue palette is actually stunning. So yeah, she sent over two palettes, it's giving a gender reveal. <laughs> but um, I definitely am gonna use the pink one today. I'm just feeling very pinky. Um, the blue is gorgeous though, but like blue is like one of those hard colors for me to work with. And I want this to go very smoothly. So I'm gonna go in with the Ultimate Revenge palette and I'm gonna just play with it and see where I go from here. So I'm gonna start off with bronzer in my crease just because just because honestly the way this um tutorial is going to be going it's going to be a lot of black owned um brands in here so i'm really excited so i'm starting off with my bronzer just in my crease just to give my eye a little bit of depth and definition and just so that i don't have to tap into another palette i'm just going to keep it safe and use a bronzer you can never go wrong with your bronzer as your transition color the first color i'm going to go into is this hot pink shade in the palette and I'm gonna put that in my crease as well like right on top of the bronzer so putting the bronzer just kind of helps control the color because if I just went in with the pink the pink will like spread and go all the way up to my brow and I want a very controlled look <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right on top and you can see it's perfect and I like to just take a clean brush and just um, which is actually the same brush but another one <laughs> and I like to just um, diffuse the edges so that it's not super harsh next I'm gonna go into this shade it's more of like a burgundy kind of color and I'm gonna put that in the crease like in the outer V just to deepen that up a little bit because it's a little bit more pigmented so it's more of like a deeper pink burgundy type of situation y'all feel the vibes y'all feeling the vibes because I'm feeling the vibes and I'm probably going to put this color all over my lid because that's how I'm feeling. I love like a blown out um, type of look. Oh my God, I just put it on my lid. I didn't even, I'm just moving. This is how I really do my makeup, you guys. Like I just be like moving and shaking, okay? If you know me, you guys know I love a matte eye. I will do shimmer here and there, but I'm definitely like a matte kind of girl. It just works for me. Like this is so cute. So I'm going to take this purple with the same brush. And I'm actually just going to deepen that up just a little bit. Well, that's pretty. That's like a fuchsia. You can't really tell on camera, right? But it's super cute. So I'm debating if I want to take this shade in the inner corner. Or, ooh, this is pretty. Or that shade. Hmm. I'm actually going to mix these two and put them in my inner corner because I can't decide, so why not? And I'm just gonna place that, ooh, right there. Like this. I need you guys to understand that I'm not aiming for perfection here at all. Um, but I'm just gonna clean up that fallout because you may not think there's any, but look at all that that just came off. So like I said, I'm going to be going for a full coverage look today. So I'm going to be going in with my NYX Plump It Right Back Primer. Um, it's like a skincare-like primer to me, so it counts to me as like a moisturizer, in a sense, that has like gripping effects to it. Uh, so I really like this one. I talk about it all the time, you guys. <laughs> so I'm just putting that all over kind of refreshes my face right before I put on my foundation because I have already done my skincare prep so this kind of just like brings that that bounce back so for primer today I'm going in with the rare beauty illuminating primer 
because I really like this stuff a lot, like a lot. I typically don't like illuminating primers because they're more on the sticky side, which is so weird. But Selena did her big one with Rare Beauty, okay? Because I love the brand. Love, love, love. So I don't have any new foundation, so I'm just gonna keep it safe and going with my Fenty Beauty. I love this foundation, like it never fails me. It is, oh, almost done. We're gonna get something out of this today, know that. I don't wanna use anything else. Please don't do me like this. <gasps> you guy, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I can get a little something out of here. So anyways, I'm gonna do the Fenty foundation in the shade 420. I need to buy a new one. I literally went to Sephora earlier this week. I've never had to re... Have I rebought this? Yes, I have. I'm tripping. If I had my first Fenty foundation, that would actually be disgusting because I bought Fenty when it first came out. But anyway, this is a soft matte um, foundation, which I've learned a lot of people actually don't like this. Like, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> this is amazing. It is actually amazing, amazing. Well, for me, at least. I know everything doesn't work for everybody, so... I get it but I love it it's a true soft matte I feel like it's not too too matte and it's not on that skin like side I let me just spray my face and talk so I'm gonna spray my face with this morphe setting spray this helps give me time to blend out the foundation and helps with the longevity of my makeup as well but like I was saying I've learned a lot of people do not like this foundation which is crazy to me because it's it's just great it's great um but it is a true soft matte so it's not a matte matte which i don't like and it's not a like skin like finish which i like a skin like finish but i don't like skin like finish on full coverage it just feels gross it feels like it's sliding around not my thing but anyway this is a happy medium for me so if you haven't tried this i highly recommend trying this like mm. but um yeah i haven't bought any foundations in a while let me know what your favorite ones are down below if there are any new ones that i should try um i think the last foundation that i actually bought was charlotte tilbury like bought and liked was charlotte tilbury um anything after that I haven't really been into it charlotte tilbury to charlotte tilbury i realized was just too full coverage and too matte um, but it is a nice foundation for pictures what anyways I got a new concealer I'm super excited this is the um born this way Arethio light concealer I don't know why I paused but it's an illuminating smoothing concealer and of course I got two shades I got ginger snap and caramel drizzle I think caramel drizzle is the one closer to my shade but if we're being honest I'm convinced that this is the original concealer that they had and they just repackaged it and rebranded it. That's what brands do a lot of time, but we're, we're going to see. So I'm going to start with Caramel Drizzle or Caramel Drizzle. And I'm going to, you know, do my thing. I do not like this applicator because why is the product coming out? But I don't like this applicator. It's like no product coming out. Like maybe you're just not, a, not supposed to put a lot but like I don't like that but anyways I'm starting off with one that's closer to my foundation shade and blending that in for coverage and then I'm going to use the other one for brightness so this is how it's looking with the first shade and honestly it's just giving very dewy under the eyes that's what I'm getting from it I'm not 100% impressed so I'm gonna put this back in the box in case I don't like it towards the end because like so now I'm going in with Ginger Snap and I'm going to brighten that up because we like a brighten under eye over here, baby. I hate this applicator. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I do not like this applicator. It's like stiff and like no product is coming out on it. Like, ugh. I'm not in love with this. But you know, whenever I say I don't like something, I end up liking it and then I just embarrass myself on here and y'all be like nah nah boo boo so I'm gonna just shut up I'm not gonna hold you guys it looks nice but I'm not obsessed with it um I just feel like 
you can have a little bit more coverage like just just a little just a little bit more coverage but i'm gonna move on so today for setting powder i'm scared okay this is no shade, but I'm scared. I'm going to be using the K-Lux Celebrity Set. I'm only scared because I stick to my setting powders. I don't switch it up. Setting powders is one of those things I am very fickle about, okay? I, I don't switch it up. I don't. I stick to my same um, powders in rotation, and I call it a day. But this one... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's too much in the, in the top. But this one is really like a unique shade. It's not really a skin tone color. But it's not pink. I don't know what it's picking up, but this can be used on all skin tones. Um, it is a true translucent powder, is what Kaylar has told the girl. So we're gonna put that to the test today. And I'm just gonna dip that into the powder and set my under eyes. And you guys know I don't bake, I like to press. Ooh. That looks good. I just love the look of powder under the eyes, like. When it's a good setting powder, it gives this like blurred look. Do you guys see that already? This might not be available. So the powder for me is definitely giving a 10 out of 10. It is truly a translucent powder. And I really think the way it's like blending into my skin, it will work for all skin tones. So I highly recommend checking it out. I don't know why I was nervous actually, because I definitely did the makeup for K-Lux. Um, for the campaign shoot like her launch and I used it on the models and it worked fine But it's different when you're using things on yourself. Okay, and I'm about to go out. So like I'm nervous <laughs> So I'm just setting my brows lightly just to eliminate that shine Okay, so I'm a little confused by this next product. This is the makeup Mario soft sculpt, soft sculpt Radiant skin powder I just got a long name for no reason um, so it's like shimmer, but it's a bronzer, but I've seen people use it as um, all over face. I'm not putting this all over my face with shimmer. That's interesting to me. So what I'm going to do, I actually got the shade dark instead of deep. I think deep would be more my skin tone, but I got this to use it as a bronzer. So I'm going to like swirl it all together and see how this works as a bronzer. Do we see a difference? I really got this for my no makeup makeup days. I think this would be pretty. Not for this. I think this would work better on a lighter day, but it looks nice though. And I like that it has like a, when you swirl it, you're still getting the matte color and then you're getting like the shimmer. So it's giving like a true bronzed look. But it's cool though, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. I would just definitely use it on a lighter coverage day i'm just going to sculpt this out so that it pops a little bit more so for blush i'm going to be using the juvia's place volume four which is let me cover this mirror um it's like a super pink okay you guys it's like a hot pink so we have this like it, it's actually washing it out on camera but it's like this like bubblegum pink and then a hot pink so i'm going to start with the hot pink with a small brush so I can have control because you guys know Juvia's Place is very pigmented and I'm just going to like place that on the cheek and you guys can definitely see. Let me, I think that brush has like product on it. So yeah, I'm going to put that on the cheek and I like to go upwards and blend, blend, blend. I'm going to go on top with that light pink to give me that like baby doll look. I like that. And I'm going to kind of like smoke this eye out. Well, not really, I'm just adding liner, which makes it look more sultry. So I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow. And why does this look like this? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow with an angle brush and kind of like map out my wing before I actually do it. Um, I kind of like that like smoky wing look. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm gonna do is just like blend that out so that it doesn't look stupid. It doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. Just like blend it out, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. See, this is what happens when I try to be different. But anyways, just blend this out, you guys. It does not have to be perfect. This, The whole point of this kind of look is for it to like look like effortless. Oh, when I'm telling you, this concealer is literally settling under my eyes. 
I'm about to be sick. <laughs> All right, so what I'm about to do is actually do my actual wing liner. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. liner probably, if I can find it, um, and I'll be back. I'm actually freaking out because my under eye is creasing really bad, but I'm keeping my composure because why? I throw a fit it's just makeup okay so I went ahead and did my eyeliner and added some more eyeshadow in my inner corner and I'm gonna go ahead with my lashes so you guys know I use revenge beauty on my eyes they have tons of lashes I've used them in another video and I'm gonna continue to use them but I want to use different things today you know I just want to try different things so um the lash vault sent me some lashes and this is in the style bougie and this is so cute it's like super winged out super fluffy so let me take them out so it's not a glare so you guys can see oh my gosh i'm making a mess you guys that's how you know i'm stressed but anyways they look like this so super cute so you guys know me i'm gonna cut them kind of into like a half lash and only have that volume on the end so i'm gonna cut when you want the volume on the end you want to make sure you're cutting the inner corner of the lash so i'm gonna cut off like the first three notches and like see what it looks like all that lash glue is drying i'm gonna go ahead and dust this powder away with the fenty beauty powder i also haven't tried a new face powder in a while so if you guys have any suggestions let me know once again i stick to what i know when it comes to powder because it makes me nervous um i don't know why my chair was just so low just a second ago but whatever so anyways just blending that out you know it's just so weird. This is how you know I haven't really done my makeup because I'm just so like. <sighs> I'm gonna put these lashes on, child. And you guys know me. One, two, three. Let's see. This is what happens when you get too cocky. You start messing up. I love how fluffy these are. If you guys know me, you guys know I love a like fluffy lash over a super long lash or super like spiked out lash. Well, sometimes I like a spacey lash, but. Anyways, child. So I love how like short and fluffy these are. They're definitely my vibe. Um, I'm about to, I don't know, just gather my thoughts for a second and I'll be right back, you guys. So to avoid further creasing underneath my eyes, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade number two. And that's also gonna bring the look up a lot. It's gonna make it look more glam. Every time I do this, it's like zero to 100. So I would just put that in my highlighted areas. Okay, so that's enough of the face. I'm not going to pop anything else on or I'm going to H-A-T-E my face. It doesn't look bad. It's just like not... Maybe it's just because I haven't worn makeup like that in a while. I'm just not 100% sold right now. But it's like too matte, too full coverage, too much. <laughs> so I'm going to take my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray um, and set the face. I just love how this melts everything down. It has cactus water and vitamin C. So whatever's in it just like melts the makeup in the best way. And already I like that. I like that. I like it. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using um, K Lux Coffee Please. The lip liner is so cute, you guys. And look at the packaging. It's like it's like Louis Vuitton. K Lux Vuitton. Okay? It's so cute. So it's just a dark brown. And I'm going to line my lips. Let me just use a small mirror because... <sighs> Alright, so I'm just going to do a gloss. I'm going to be using the K Lux Gloss. Do, 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 do. you guys see the packaging super cute and this is in the shade perfectionist it's a nude a super opaque so as you can see it's super opaque it's like the perfect hybrid between like a lipstick and a gloss so that you don't have to do both if you don't want to but you guys know me I like that extra glossy look so I'm gonna go back to revenge beauty and I'm gonna be using the shade ghosting perfect name their packaging is super cute as well it's like this like white and pink, super cute. Reminds me of like Mean Girls or something. Um, and I do have a code with them, so I will leave it on the screen and or below. Um, that is so disrespectful. But I don't like to like dip my gloss onto my lips, so I'm just gonna put it on my finger. And I'm gonna put that on top for that extra glossy look. I feel like I'm one of the only girls who cannot pull off the like brown liner and clear gloss. I have to have something nudish or pinkish underneath with the liner and the gloss because just the gloss does not give on me. So lastly, you guys, I'm going to be using the one size fantasize mascara. Um, I think it only comes in bodacious black. Um, the girls are not lying because the mascara, 
Yes, ma'am. I can't wait to use it on my um, top lashes, but I'm not. Well, I'm going to put a little bit, but I'm not going to be able to tell the difference. Um, but yeah, we'll follow back up with that. But I'm about to clean up my area, fix my hair, throw on something because I do have to leave. I'm going to dinner. I didn't get do a dinner get ready with me because it wasn't planned so yeah so um i'll be right back so you guys this completes the look i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a little chaotic like i said i have not done a full glam in a while and i also have not done my hair in like two weeks so it was like me getting back into things but i absolutely love this hair i feel like it is perfect make sure you guys check out west kiss hair i will leave all the information down below in the description box and thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one bye